everybody this is chad around two so we are back with another video for october 2020 so october already falls here it's halloween it's time for Oktoberfest. everybody can drink their german beers i got my later hosen on we're ready to go there's a lot of really cool stuff coming out this month we've got four releases for johnny lightning 164 to show you guys coming out some stuff in street Fre street freaks collector tins uh pop culture a lot of really cool stuff there we've got seven 118 scale Auto World cars for you guys to show, and two 124 scale cars that we're going to be showing you as well. We've got slot car, a new slot car set. We've got new slot car releases coming, and we have six model kits coming for you guys. So we're going to jump right in. We're going to start with the 164th. All right, so first off for 164th and Johnny Lightning, we're going to start with the second release for Pop Culture. This is 2020 release two. Uh, we've got, similar to our other release, there's some Monopoly cars in here, and there's some James Bond 007 cars in here. So the first one here is the 1977 Dodge van. That's the property management van. So, and again, the really cool stuff about these Monopoly releases is you also get this exclusive game token for whenever you play Monopoly. You can have your little 77 Dodge van in there as well. Second for the release, 1985 Chevy Camaro Z28. This is the Park Place Camaro in blue here. And you've got that super cool 85 Camaro game token that comes with it as well. Next, the 1957 Lincoln Premier. This is in that great looking yellow color. It's the Marvin Gardens Lincoln Premier. And of course comes with the, uh, with the game token with that. And then next for the 007 cars, lots of really cool ones coming here. First off, the 1967 Toyota 2000 GT from You Only Live Twice. So some of the cool things about this car there was actually uh, any of you toyota guys will know there was never a 1967 toyota 2000 gt convertible uh made this car was made into a convertible for the movie there's only two that existed as a convertible and it was because sean connery was too tall to fit into a regular one so a really cool casting something that's a little different from a regular 2000 gt and one we're really excited about next the 1971 ford mustang mach 1 from diamonds are forever the famous red ford mustang got that red interior white line tires on it and a lot of really cool details on that you can see that scene from the movie where he goes up on two wheels there really famous uh chase scene for that particular movie and last the spy who loved me lotus esprit s1 this car is super cool looks great in white uh it's known as wet nelly in the movie because this car famously turns into a submarine and goes underwater the actual car um there was a movie car that was in a storage unit that a couple bought unseen for $100 for a sealed storage unit. Later, they ended up selling the car to Elon Musk for almost a million bucks. So a lot of really cool story behind this Bond car. One we're, uh, we're really stoked to have. So next up for Johnny Lightning, we have a Muscle Cars USA release coming out. This is a Muscle Car and Corvette Nationals release. So you guys know how we do it with Muscle Car and Corvette Nationals. Version A is all cars that were at the show replicated from a particular owner's car. Version B is a different color variation that we chose for it. First off, the 1969 Dodge Dart GTS here. A great looking light blue color, light blue poly there with light blue wheels. And you can see the actual car on the car dart. Red line tires and the other cool details that come with it. And copper poly for version B here. You can see the white stripe on that, white interior. Another really great looking car. Next, the 1969 Chevy Corvette ZL1. You can see version A here, the car that was at the show up there in the card art. See it in that great looking orange color there. And version B here in gold, Riverside Gold. Third in the release, we've got a 1973 Pontiac Firebird Trans Am. First version here is in Brewster Green. Has that great looking screaming chicken on the hood. Uh, matching green colors on it just a great looking car there and the second variation is here in white with burgundy red interior and that blue bird on the hood of it next up for the re release 1972 pontiac gto first version here is in monarch you can see it with the white top on there all the cool details on that it's got those white uh white letter tires on it and the second version here in cardinal red the white top on that one as well another just great looking die cast also fifth in the release the 1970 amc rebel machine so the first one here is actually in black it's blacked out got black interior on it those great looking silver details around it silver wheels 
and white letter tires and the second version here is the rebel machine that famous paint job in frost white with the red white and blue graphics on it and the rebel machine lettering down the side of it and lastly for this release the 1970 ford mustang boss 302 the first one here version a in that famous grabber blue color got those black boss striping down the side of it that black hood and second candy apple red you can't you can't skip candy apple red got those awesome louvers on the back and a lot of other really cool stuff for that one also for 164th we have a street freaks release coming out for you guys so again in this release six cars two colors of each you can see first starting off with the zinger this is the 1965 buick riviera zinger so some of the neat uh, things about this is actually the, only the second time that a 65 Buick Riviera has been done as a Zinger in JL. So uh, one that's not a lot of them out there, only one other release. So version A here is in black with those cool looking flames on it. Version B, the one I really love, is this awesome Zinger colored uh, metallic green with those green stripes and that green chrome on it. Just a great looking car on there. Yellow line tires on there. And second is the 1929 Ford Crew Cab Pickup for the Black with Flame series. So this was a custom, uh, a custom car that was built, and we had the casting made quite a while ago. Brought it out with the Black with Flames. It looks great on that series here. Uh, you can see it with the red flames for version A and with the silver flames there for version B. Next up, we've got a new car for spoilers. We've got the Cheetah on here. You can see it here it's got the uh, of course the engine sticking out of the hood for the spoilers car number 55 on the side first version here in this great looking yellow color and second version is in light blue those awesome looking white side pipes on it too next in the blacked out series the 1955 lincoln futura Ver version a is here in futuristic gloss black with those Awesome looking gunmetal details and those gunmetal uh, tires on it. Second variation is in a gunmetal gray with black details and black wheels on it. Next up, we got another car coming in the Demolition Derby Series, the 1974 Dodge Monaco. So these ones have been done up as the Fire Marshal car, number 904 on there. You can see that first version in fire, retired Fire Chief Red with the flames going up the side and flat orange for that second release with those cool uh, overspray lines on it. Demo derby looking tires and just a really great looking release. We love bringing those out. Next in our series, we're bringing back the 1997 Acura Integra Type R in import heat. So some of the really cool stuff about this one, uh, what makes our casting a little bit different is we do the USDM Acura Integra Type R. So it has those US uh, quad round headlights in the front of it rather than the JDM front end. First version is in fluorescent yellow with a carbon fiber hood. Second version here in red, carbon fiber hood on that one as well. Great looking color for that. And lastly, we've got the Johnny Lightning Collector 10. So there's three cars for this in this series, uh, two colors of each, so six cars total. Comes with, of course, with the uh, matching collector tin to store it in. First, the 1967 Pontiac Firebird. Here it is in green with that black vinyl top. Just a great looking color for that car. Second variation here in burgundy. You can see the white interior for that one and the white details really make it pop. Of course, that matching tin uh, below it as well. Uh, another release for the 1963 Cheetah. Here it is number 68 here in the burgundy color. And the matching tin for that one as well. Got the stripes on the top. And the second version in silver with dual red stripes on it. And that number 70 on there. And third in the Collector 10 release. The 1995 Chevy Corvette ZR1. So one we haven't brought out in a little while here. You got it here in gloss black with the chrome, uh, chrome wheels on it. Great looking release here. And the next one, one of my favorite 90s Corvette colors, the bright aqua poly uh, on that one as well. And of course, with the matching collector tin on that. So that's everything we've got uh, for you guys coming up in 164th for October. Next, we're going to jump in, show you guys the 118 and the 124th. All right, so first off for the larger scale die cast, we're going to start with the 124 scale cars that we have coming out. These are the 1950 Divco delivery. So there's 
two versions of this coming out and some of the neat features about this it's actually a, a locking coin bank underneath got a die cast body on it so you can display it you can keep changing it you can do all kinds of cool stuff but the first uh, divco delivery is the schwinn sales and service the uh, dave cyclery uh car there it's got that great looking uh red red wheels on it with a chrome lip and that red stripe the divco is just a super cool looking uh, uh car so it's one that we're you know happy to bring out to you guys and a lot of cool things you can do with it so for the second variation we went with the highland hill dairy the uh, milk truck with the lowell mission michigan uh address and number on the side of it there you can see it in that great looking light blue color with the white on that as well and another just super cool looking release it's nice to bring something back out in a, in a little bit of a smaller scale too and just do something a little bit different so next up we've got a lot of uh 118 scale cars we're going to be showing you guys seven of them actually so we're going to start here with the 1970 plymouth duster 340 here in high impact vitamin c orange paint so this is part of our class of 1970 uh series you can see that how great that orange paint looks on it it's got the duster 340 uh decals on it so of course the 340 wedge uh engine in there as well with the opening hood you got that black interior all the detailing in the interior and the detailed chassis, steerable front wheels, and a lot of other really great features that come with this one. So it's cool to bring out something like the Duster, a uh, really neat car. And next we also have the 1970 Chevy Nova SS 396. So this is part of our muscle car and Corvette Nationals uh, release. This color is in black cherry, has a black or a, a white vinyl top on it with black interior, and all those great looking Nova SS uh, details on it badging you've got the firestone wide oval tires on it and as you guys know with all of our muscle car and corvette national cars there's a look at the actual car here owned by lance line who we met at the show and we were able to replicate his car in exacting detail program we just love doing we love bringing these cars out so uh also for a muscle car and corvette national release we do have this 1969 and a half dodge coronet super b here in r4 red so some of the really cool stuff about this, this is one of our A12 reunion cars. You might remember a couple months ago, we did another A12 reunion car. So this comes with an A12 banner in there, comes with some wheel covers. Of course, it's got that black uh, hood on it with the six pack um, logos on the side of it and the black interior in full detail as well. And you can get a look at the car here at the A12 reunion owned by John Spears. There it was up at the Muscle Car and Corvette National Show. And next up, we have another Nova for you guys, a 1970, uh, again, Chevy Nova SS 396. This one here is in Hugger Orange. It's got those great looking color matched uh, orange wheels with that chrome dish over the, uh, over the front of them. It's got the great looking uh, silver trim around it, black interior, of course, opening hood, uh, opening door, steerable front wheels, and all that other great stuff. We also have another one for you guys. Uh, this Hemmings Motor News car here. Here, this car, this 1966 Chevy Chevelle SS 396, this was the cover car for the April uh, 2013 Hemmings Motor News. So you can see some of the really cool details that are uh, in this one. This is in Regal Red, has black interior with that one as well. And of course, the opening doors and hood, detailed engine, steerable front wheels, uh, detailed interior, and all of that really cool stuff. And there's a look at that uh, Hemmings Motor News. You can see the... Uh, the issue there with that car on the cover. Next up, another muscle car and Corvette Nationals car. This is a special one. The 1967 Nikki Chevy Camaro Z28 in Bolero Red. So some of the really uh, cool details about this. This has a newly tooled Stinger hood for it. So we just tooled that hood to make this uh, Nikki Camaro. It's a 1967 Z28 uh, and just a very rare car, a super cool car that was there at the show. We were able to talk to the people at Nikki. We were able to talk to the owner of this car and replicate it. Super excited to bring it out to you guys. Of course, it has those great looking white stripes on it. And there's a look at the car there at the show owned by Kurt Wartman. And lastly, for 118, we have the 1970 Chevy Monte Carlo SS 454. Got that big engine in it. So great looking deep gloss black color on this one of course all the monte carlo detailing on it also has those firestone uh wide oval white letter tires on it and is part of our class of uh, 1970 release 
As with all the other cars, opening doors and hood, detailed engine, steerable front wheels, precise accuracy, and all of that great stuff. So that's everything we've got for diecast. Next, we're gonna show you guys all the models. All right, so first off for you guys in model kits, we're gonna talk about Oktoberfest. We gotta bring you a German car, 1978 Volkswagen Golf GTI. This is the Mark I Golf. This is in a 124 scale. It's a former ESCI tool. A lot of really cool features on this one. Uh, this particular model is molded in three different colors, so it's molded in yellow, it's got some black parts, it's got some chrome parts, clear parts, and uh, um, some pretty cool features on it as well. Uh, some of the really neat things about this, there are new decals that come with this where you can build a GTI version, you can build a custom version, and there's some pretty cool woody decals that come with it as well. It also has uh, uh, options to build either US, uh, Euro or US style bumpers on it, a fully detailed engine, complete chassis and suspension, and of course the detailed interior and vinyl tires and all of that really great stuff. And there's a look also at the parts tree on the back of that kit. So really excited to see what you guys do with this build here and a look at the, uh, the decals on that one. One that should be super cool and something a little bit different. So uh, we also have for you guys something, something new, another cool one in the car kits, the return of the Speed Racer Mach 5 from Polar Lights. This is a snap kit. So some of the really neat things about this kit, it's molded in white, it's got the clear parts, there's an optional uh, bubble top that you can do for it. It's got sticker decals, uh, makes it a little bit easier for kids to build. You can see uh, kind of a built up version here with some of those really neat parts on it, um, what those sticker sheets look like and all of that. And another look on the back with, at the detailed interior, the wheels are rolling on this one as well. And a look at that parts tree. So Speed Racer is, I know everybody grew up watching it as uh, as a kid, and they're actually, uh, it's out back now on Motor Trend. If you guys want to check out some of the uh, uh, Speed Racer cartoons, we've been watching them. It's just a great throwback, and we're really excited to bring it out. We will have some more Speed Racer stuff coming out for you guys in the uh, year, so keep stay tuned for all of that. And we have another car kit for you guys. This is a bigger scale, 1 16th scale uh, 57 Chevy. So what's cool about this, this kit has not been released since the 1980s. Uh, it is a two-in-one, which means that you can build it stock or custom. Uh, it builds out to about 12 inches long at that bigger scale. Um, it comes with an expanded decal sheet with it. It's got white wall tires. Uh, there's vinyl hoses and wiring that come with this kit. And then you can get a look here at some of the, uh, uh, here's the motor that you get on there you can do custom or uh, performance options on there fin valve covers low restriction air cleaner holly four barrel carbs and a lot of just really really neat features that come that come with this as well and the kit also has uh, opening doors and hood which is something that is super cool you can see that hood opening and some of that engine detail and a look at that big old parts tree on the back here for that 1 16th scale and also we have for you guys a new Star Trek kit. So this is something a little different, a little less of a kit that you put together and kind of something that's a little more uh, ready to go. This is the USS Discovery NCC 1031 from Star Trek Discovery. And this is our pre-decorated kit. It's a 12500 scale uh, display model. So really all you have to do with this one is take it out. You got your, uh, your domed uh, base to put it on there. You click the base together. It's just a great looking piece if you want to put it on your desk or put it on your shelf and just have it there and maybe uh, maybe you don't have to take the time to, to build one up. There's a look at some of the uh, some of the quick photos here of it uh, found in Star Trek Discovery. And you can see uh, uh, some of the other details here with the uh, on the back end of the ship, how it's fully decorated and just how much detail has gone into it. We also have, if you're talking about space and pop culture kits the 007 moonraker is returning this is the space shuttle with boosters an amt kit this is a 1 200 scale kit measures at about 10 and a half inches tall um, once you uh, build the kit up it really is just a jaws dropping kit here and uh just super cool looking artwork on that too with the moonraker so you can get a look here at uh, some of the different ways that you can build this. You can build all of the different theatrical versions, Moonraker 1 through 6. There's a U.S. Marine version uh, that you can build with it as well. It's got the rocket boosters, operating bay door, external fuel tank, finely engraved details, a uh, detailed bay with a payload there. Uh, just a lot of really neat stuff that come with this kit. And we'll have some more 007 stuff coming up soon for you guys. And lastly, we've got a huge kit to show you guys. 
This is the return of the AMT construction bulldozer and low boy trailer combo kit. So this kit uh, has not been together as a kit since the 1970s as a, as a two-piece kit. We have done some of these separately. Uh, this has over 500 parts in it, so a huge build. The trailer measures out to about 19 inches long. It's got adjustable blade, adjustable ripper attachment. Uh, there's movable tracks on the construction bulldozer. Uh, there's It's obviously two complete kits that you build in here, molded in two different colors. Kept that vintage style packaging for it. But we did um, update a few things with the kit. So you can see mostly in the decals here um, that you can see on the back. We have decals for the trailer and there are also um, additional decals for whichever truck you decide wants to be pulling the trailer there's detail uh, decals for you to match it and there's a look at some of the other uh, some of the other really cool uh, features on this kit the optional center tooth ripper that adjustable blade attachment seeing how it works there and the precision snap together track sections really huge kit uh, really cool to see you guys build out uh, the big kits like that oh and we do have one one last thing an accessory piece for you guys the AMT Big Rig Modeling Semi-Tractor Tall Tires. So here's a look at that pack uh, Pack here. Of course, you get uh, 10, 10 tires in, in this pack, 125th scale. So for all of your semi-truck builds, just another variation there for the tires for you. And you can get a look kind of at some of the other uh, Big Rig, uh, some of the other packs we have. Uh, there's some Big Rig decals to do Union 76, Hostess Cake stuff, other tire packs, and some of that uh, other neat stuff that you can see coming out. So next... We are going to jump in and show you guys the slot car stuff. All right, so first off for slot cars, we've got a, a really neat new set for you guys. This is the Thunderjet 24 Hours of Le Mans Speed versus Endurance set. So this is a 16-foot-long Thunderjet set. Of course, comes with the uh, high-speed controllers. You got a lap counter. You got some pretty cool stuff with that. But the real, uh, the real neat thing about this set are the cars. You've got the Ford GT40 here versus the Chaparral 2F. So it's been a while since we put a Chaparral 2F back out here you can get a look here at the uh the window box so you can see the actual cars sitting inside the the kit it's a really cool feature on this one and of course with a 16 foot uh race set there are multiple different track layouts that you can build for this set uh once you buy the set and put it together or add it to your other set of course all of our tracks are uh compatible with any of our stuff it's compatible with afx stuff and you can always extend them too so another set that we're just really excited to bring out to you guys and excited to see what you do with them. We also have for slot cars two releases coming out for you. First is a four gear Legends of the Quarter Mile release that has three cars in it. So uh, the first car in this release is the 1970 Plymouth Cuda, the Don the Snake Prudhomme car. So you might remember this car from the uh, Snake vs. Mongoose uh, set that we put out earlier this year. So there's a look at the yellow livery on that. Of course, the great looking. Uh, blue uh, stripe with the uh, uh, stars going down the side of it and also in the release we have the matching uh, Tom the Mongoose McEwen 1970 Plymouth Duster there in red so another car that will be uh, will now be available separately for you guys and third in the release we had one more to throw in for you guys this is the 1971 Dodge Challenger Ram Chargers car and there it is, those great looking Ram Chargers graphics on it, those famous stripes going down the side of it, and that white color with those uh, super cool bronze wheels on there too. Really excited to bring that one out for you guys. And then lastly, we do have one uh, Thunderjet release coming out. Three cars in this one as well, and this is the next uh, series for our Transamerica cars. So first off uh, is the Sam Posey 1970 Dodge Challenger. Here it is in that bright, uh, that bright lime green color here. Number 77 graphics, black vinyl top on it. You got the white leather tires on it as well. And that just those great looking uh, Trans Am graphics. And next, the 1970 Ford Mustang, the Parnelli Jones Mustang here. Number 15 on the side of it. It's got all that great looking details from his car, the black stripes down the side, and the uh, white leather tires on that one as well. And the last one here, the 1967 Mercury Cougar. Of course, in black, number 14, you got the red uh, the red graphics on that as well. And a lot of other really neat decals. So that is everything that we have for you guys. A lot of stuff this month uh, coming out. We've got a lot more stuff coming. As always, you can go to round2corp.com. You can check out what we have there. You can go on our uh, Facebook pages. You can go on our Instagram pages. We do sneak peeks of new tools. And if you like the model kits, maybe you want to see them fully built out, uh, 
go on here on YouTube, check out HPI Guy's Workshop. We send him a lot of kits. He does a great job building stuff up if you guys want to check out his channel. As always, thank you guys so much for watching these videos. We'll see you in October. Can't wait. We'll see you in November. Can't wait.